Woo! It is cold. What is happening, YouTube? And it is snowing. Eugene here. Hope you're doing well. I am doing super. I am flowing. Right now I'm stuck, but I'll be flowing as soon as I put the car in drive. And then we'll be we'll be attracting the mysteries of the universe. Things will start to unfold and we'll leave the past behind. And we'll go into newness, oneness, hope, faith, belief, excitement, adventure. Marvelous. It's all so bloody marvelous, isn't it? You know what else is marvelous? Mathilde Laurent and her Oud collection for Cartier. I am in. Ta-da! I am in something special. And this doesn't get a lot of recognition or get talked a lot about. But I am a fan. Count me as a fan. Okay. Mathilde Laurent, she gets me. She understands my needs as a perfume lover and enthusiast. That's Uden Santal from Cartier's private collection. Okay, there's a whole range of Oud perfumes and they're all really, really brilliant. This being one of those. I'm a big fan of all of them. <clears throat> and Oud and Santal, I mean, it's wood. It's wood, wood, wood. There's an aesthetic that runs the line. Like there is a a line that connects all of these perfumes. So there is this feeling of uh, uniformity. There's an aesthetic, there's a familiarity that runs through all of them, you know, and it's a very comfortable feeling. Uh, oud, this is oud, smoked wood chips, um, a buttery oud. Oud, I'm sorry. Sandalwood. Sandalwood has been used for generations and generations in perfumery. And it's because it's a noble wood. It is strong. It stands strong on its own and it's very characterful. I'm, I really enjoy sandalwood, wearing sandalwood. I feel like I'm standing taller. I feel like I'm standing prouder. I feel more confident for some reason. And it's just, it's like the symbiosis, the, the vibration of sandalwood you know it has a really good feeling to it and that's probably the reason it's been used in rituals for thousands of years like a sacred wood uh, burned during rituals for you know like um, incense purposes right spiritual things cleansing purposes and it's a very creamy wood it's a very buttery wood it's soft it doesn't have the sharp edges of, well, this perfume anyway, this perfume highlights the softness of sandalwood. You know, the creamy uh, effects, the buttery effects, the fruity effects. Sandalwood is often linked with coconut, fruity coconut. And here that reveals itself instantly, like right in the opening is uh, a very coconut, coconutty lotion feel you know and then that coconut it expands into the base as you get deeper into the base and it kind of blends in with the um, sandalwood but the sandalwood is absolutely gorgeous it's smoky and buttery and creamy and full it's absolutely it's like a delight to wear but the beauty right the beauty of this perfume is and this is what the French, this is what they know. This is what they do so well. They're fucking so sensual and they're geniuses at it, not only in perfumery, but in lovemaking. Like these people, these people, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the French, right? The beautiful French, they take their time. They know how to make love. It's not, or wear perfume. It's not like, you know, I mean, quickies are great in sex, not so great in perfumery, right? But in perfume, these, like this collection especially, it really shows in this Oud collection is the sensuality and how they really take their time to unfold right 
It's not a rush. It's not a race to orgasm to come to get to the end. It is a little nuzzle. It is flirting way beforehand, way before it even starts. It's a little nuzzle. It's creating a little warmth. It's changing. It's slowly removing an article of clothing, revealing more of itself, but at such a pace where it keeps the excitement. It keeps the blood flowing. It keeps the juices warm. It just is getting more beautiful and beautiful, you know, towards getting to the end, which is the ultimate goal. But that's how this is. Like, it doesn't show itself everything in the beginning. It doesn't jump on top of you and, and kind of leave nothing for the imagination. There's nothing, there's mo no moment to really grasp. There's less moments to grasp onto, you know, when, when, when the perfume shows itself right in the beginning. You want that storyline. You want to remember, you want to go back and think and, and visualize and, and, and just, you know, add more excitement to the story. That's, that's what perfume does and that's what this does exactly. It really knows when and where to shift and change and bend over and and show more creamy aspects or more woody aspects or smokiness or a curve, you know, whatever it is. And that's what the French are. That's fine French perfume, right? It's like they make love to their perfumes. That's that's literally where I'm going. Where, where am I going? <laughs> where am I going? I'm having two conversations, one in my head and one over here because I've got stuff to do. I'm, I'm going to deliver packages. That's, and I don't, I just missed this post office because of the traffic. So I'm going to go to the next one. But if you guys, you know, you guys that are paying for shipping at Les of today, you're out of my jurisdiction because I've mentioned it as many times as I possibly could everywhere. Use shipping code free, free, free. That's gonna get you free shipping all around the world at lesobstoday.com. And this is DeSondra going to Portland, Oregon. Thank you, Portland, Oregon. And we got some more samples going to, oh, Quebec City, Canada, Victoria, British Columbia, sweet. And we got Woolly Creek, Australia. Awesome. So enjoy those samples. I hope they get to you soon. I hope the sound that it gets to you soon to enjoy. So thank you, everybody. But yeah, that's where I was going. But I'll go to the next stop. But yeah, absolutely brilliant. Like brilliant collection. Uh, the rose and ouds, the musk ouds, the oud and oud, the, the oud radio, the, the mint, the amber. They're all very, very beautiful. They're all very rich and decadent and of high quality. I feel like these are my favorite ouds from all the, like the big French mainstream, mass appealing commercial oud segment. You know, this, the, the Cartier ouds. I really like these. I really like these. Yes, I do. Um, what else can I tell you? There's a oneness here. There is such a oneness. Like I smell, like I smell one thing like from here, but then when I go into it, then I can start separating it, like separating all the other things in, in like a smaller detail. And I love that too, but I feel like there's some rose in here as well. There might be rose in all of them. They don't really list a whole lot of notes, but here it's, Oh, plum. There's a lot of plum in here. Like a sweet, fruity, not overly sweet. It's more like a woody plum than a fruity plum. I, I mean, it is fruity, but it's not like goopy, glucosey, sugary. It's more uh, smoky, woody, and uh, almost like smoke burning and then releasing this very airy, aromatic plum. It's very lovely. You know, I hear a lot of people like uh, 
they're upset with the performance of Jubilation Man, or they're saying, you know, Jubilation Man is changed. If you if you have that problem with Jubilation Man, try this. Like this could, I think this could fit that Jubilation kind of idea. You know, it does a lot of similar things. It's woody, it's smoky, it's incensey with a fruit accord. You know, that's that's what ju Jubilation is. Um, so. And I've never done a side by side, but just spraying it now, it brought, brings up images of jubilation for me. And jubilation is brilliant. I love the softness. I love things that don't scream. Like, don't stop fucking screaming. You know, stop screaming. There's no need for it. You can find everything in calmness. And it's so peaceful. Yeah, stop screaming. I love perfumes that are soft and elegant. You know, I can wear those screamers too, and I do, obviously. But this is my this is my thing: sensuality, sensuality to a T. I want to see the T's, the big T's, T's. Yes, I like sensuality. That is my thing: sensual, soft, round warm, powdery. It's not very powdery. It's got powder, but a little. I wouldn't call this like overly powdery. It's like wood, wood, wood. Soft, creamy, burning incense, burning smoke, smoked wood chips. That's the oud. Uh, and just so creamy, like so buttery, creamy, coconutty, you know? Unbelievable. Anyway, let us know which one's your favorite of the Oud collection. I like this. I like the uh, the rose, the Oud and rose. I like the rose and pink. I had mistaken rose and pink for... No, it was Oud and pink for Oud and rose. I mean, it was an accident, but yeah, I, I, I like them all. I really do. Let us know which one's your favorite, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Until then, until the next time I see you, be well.